Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, square FBED fully inscribed uh, in a big uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, these two right triangles this uh, yellow right triangle and this uh, green right triangle as well. And moreover, this segment uh, AD is uh, 48 uh, units whereas this segment uh, DC 36 and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of all these uh, regions this uh, yellow triangle area the area of this uh, green uh, triangle and finally the area of this uh, pink uh, square and we are going to calculate these one separately please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see the only info that has been given to us uh, is this uh, high party news uh, for uh, this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 48. Uh, and the high party news uh, for this uh, green triangle is uh, 36. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle alpha, since this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle is going to be our angle uh, beta. And now we can see this is our 90 degree angle and this is our angle beta. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And let's make an observation. We can see this angle is uh, alpha and this angle is alpha. So both are uh, congruent since uh, they are our corresponding uh, angles. And likewise, this angle beta and this angle beta are our corresponding angles as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, green triangle uh, DEC is uh, similar to this uh, yellow triangle uh, AFD according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And as a matter of fact, uh, all these uh, triangles uh, triangle DEC, triangle uh, AFD and this uh, big uh, right triangle a b c all are similar and now let's focus on these uh, two side lengths uh, this uh, green side length which is 36 uh, and this uh, yellow side length uh, which is 48 and now we can see that if we multiply this uh, 36 by 4 uh, divided by 3 we are going to get uh, this uh, number 48 in other words if we want to move from 36 to 48 uh, I am going to multiply 36 uh, times uh, 4 divided by 3 and if we simplify 36 times 4 divided by 3 we are get, going to get this uh, number 48. So in other words uh, the ratio of these uh, two side lengths uh, is uh, 4 divided by 3. So therefore the ratio of all uh, the side lengths of uh, similar triangle is going to be 4 divided by 3 as well. Let's assume that this uh, side uh, EC is uh, X. Then this uh, other side length uh, is going to be 4 divided by 3 times X since these uh, side lengths are equal. And since we are dealing with this uh, square, so all these uh, side lengths uh, of this square are going to be 4 divided by 3 times X uh, across the board. And we can see the ratio to these uh, ones is uh, 4 divided by 3 as well. If this uh, side, uh, this one and this one are 4 divided by 3, so this side is going to be 4 divided by 3 times 4x uh, divided by 3. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, AF turns out to be, if we multiply this thing, that is going to give us 16x uh, divided by 9 and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, green uh, triangle uh, DEC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle 
And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our longest leg is uh, 36 and other two legs are x uh, and 4 divided by 3 times x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. x uh, whole uh, square plus uh, b in our case is uh, 4x uh, divided by 3 whole uh, square equal to 36 uh, whole square and in this uh, next step uh, 4 divided by 3 times x whole square turns out to be 16x squared divided by 9 and now I'm going to remove this uh, fraction by multiplying by 9 across uh, the board with each and every term so therefore this turns out to be 9x uh, squared plus uh, here 9 and 9 cancels out we got uh, 16 uh, x square and on the right hand side we got uh, 36 uh, whole square and 9 I can write as a 3 power 2 and on the left hand side we combine these like terms it turns out to be 25 times x square and now let's divide 25 on both sides to isolate x square this is gone so therefore x square equals to on the right hand side we got uh, 36 uh, whole square and times uh, 3 whole uh, square divided by this uh, 25 could be written as uh, 5 uh, power 2. Now let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and we can see on the left hand side square and square root onto each other so therefore we got x uh, equal to and here these squares uh, undo with this uh, square root so we got uh, 36 uh, times uh, 3 divided by 5 and if we simplify the right hand side our x value simply turns out to be 108 uh, divided by 5 so therefore our x value turns out to be 108 uh, divided by 5 uh, by just focusing on this uh, green uh, triangle and if we focus on this uh, yellow right triangle uh, aft and if we apply the Pythagorean uh, formula on uh, this uh, triangle as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square our longest leg is uh, 48 uh, and our, our other two legs are 4 divided by 3 times x and 16x divided by 9 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 4 x divided by 3 whole uh, square plus uh, 16x uh, divided by 9 uh, whole uh, square equal to 48 uh, whole uh, square and if we simplify everything as we did our previous step uh, our x value is going to be again equal to 108 uh, divided by 5 so therefore our this uh, x value is going to remain constant uh, for both of uh, these uh, triangles and now let's focus once again on this uh, green uh, triangle this x value we figured out uh, is uh, 108 uh, divided by 5 and this other side length uh, de is going to be simply i'm going to substitute this x value over here so this is going to be 4 divided by 3 times uh, 108 uh, divided by 5 and if we multiply these uh, numbers uh, it turns out to be equal to 144 divided by 5 and here's our next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle DEC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height in our case our base of this green triangle is uh, 144 divided by 5 and our uh, height is uh, 108 uh, divided by 5 so therefore this green uh, triangle area is going to be 1 divided by 2 times our base is uh, 144 divided by 5 times our height uh, is 108 divided by 5 and if we multiply and simplify the right hand side uh, that is going to be equal to 7776 uh, divided by 25 and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle aft and one of the options is to apply this uh, area of a triangle formula on this triangle uh, as well however we are going to take a different uh, approach we know the 
side length ratio is 4 divided by 3 so therefore the area ratio is going to be the square of uh, 4 divided by 3 and that is going to be 16 divided by 9 so therefore we can easily get uh, this uh, yellow triangle area by multiplying this uh, number by 16 divided by 9 so therefore this is going to be 16 uh, divided by 9 uh, times this uh, whole 7776 uh, divided by 25 so therefore if we multiply and simplify the right hand side it turns out to be 13824 divided by 25 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, square FBED and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represent the side length of the square and in our case the side length of uh, this square is 144 divided by 5 so therefore the area of this uh, pink square is going to be 144 divided by 5 whole uh, square and if we simplify this thing that turns out to be 20,736 divided by 25 so thus here are our answers for uh, green uh, triangle for this uh, yellow triangle and this uh, pink square in terms of fraction uh, as well as uh, this uh, decimal and finally let me share with you these uh, interesting facts uh, the ratio between uh, green area and the yellow area is uh, 9 to 16 and likewise the ratio between the pink area to yellow area is 3 to 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.